sometimes some stories I look at and say, is this true? Am I living in an alternate universe? I had the weekend off Twitter and Facebook until Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, and I get back on and I, I see a story trending all over the place about a new TVNZ reality show. Now, there's nothing wrong with a bit of reality TV. Nothing wrong with the odd bit of reality TV within reason. But Television New Zealand, the company that you own, which is not actually a public service broadcaster, it's a crown-owned entity and it operates in a commercial sense, it is running a new show or its own version. It's a very cheap thing that TV companies do. They buy the rights to a format for reality TV. They're running a show called F Boy Island. And yes, the F does stand for fire truck without so many letters in between. So it's called F Boy Island. And as the coverage suggests, and I have been um I have been listening to this um uh, and reading this, the coverage suggests that the premise of F Boy Island is that a group of young men, fit young men, um uh between the ages of 20 and 30 or something, they are put on an island, um, literal or figurative, and three women, three eligible young young ladies, um, get to judge them. And they judge them on whether or not they are nice boys or if they are F boys. Now, it's unclear what happens to the F boys and the nice boys, but they are separated. And the whole idea of this reality show is that I suppose you sit there and also decide who are the F boys and who are the nice boys. It is a premise, the stupidity of which beggars belief, and would seem to me to objectify uh, men and women in equal measure and in no way be an example for how to develop and sustain healthy relationships, be they casual or long-term. Um so I do not know what TVNZ is doing spending its money, which is by extension your money, paying for the rights to a piece of crap like this and then actually taking New Zealanders who might otherwise be gainfully employed in artistic endeavour to make the aforesaid piece of SHIT. Even worse though, even worse is that one of the contestants, who we can presume is an F-boy, it has now been revealed that one of the contestants, and one presumed there was some screening for them, has in fact been up in court for suffocating, accused of suffocating a drunk friend of his whom he was having unwanted sexual intercourse with. Now, he got off the suffocation charge and the judge was pretty ropeable that he had to let him off on the grounds that he was covering his mouth, her mouth not to stop her breathing, but to stop her crying for help. And this person is a contestant on F-Boy Island with TVNZ. Uh, I also note that the spin-off publication, which as you'll know is a government-funded, largely government-funded propaganda machine for the liberal left and the woke, the spin-off has written an extensive bio feature on the boys of F-Boy Island why did the spin-off do that? Well, because they're getting paid by Panasonic, the, the show's sponsor. So they represent it as some wonderful piece of journalism and it's just the spin-off doing what it always does, writing uh, whatever the people paying its bills want them to write. So here is my call right now. I invite you, by the way, to go and look at the associated media coverage of the F-Boy Island controversy. But I say to Simon Power, and I also say to Willie Jackson, who's about to spend $350 million plus of your money merging TVNZ with Radio New Zealand, I don't care if it's been shot. I don't care what Panasonic says about sponsoring the program. I think there needs to be an overwhelming public outpouring and I hate to say it because I'm anti-cancel culture, but I say TVNZ needs to pull F-Boy Island before it ever goes to air. And I would encourage you, and we'll get the number for you later, to ring Television New Zealand, say this is an outrage, and basically get this piece of absolute rubbish, get this piece of absolute rubbish pulled from our television screens. I think it is the only decent thing to do, and whilst, as I said, it goes against my anti-cancel culture nature, it is time for New Zealanders to stand up and say, we will not have this rubbish on our public television station.
And look, if if you know Discovery Channel mate wants to make go and make rubbish like that, you know, fair enough. Off, knock yourselves out, Discovery Channel. But when it comes to TV and said no, so I say f off, f boy Island. There we go.